Hi there, my name is Stanton Jack and I'm a pro tire for Togan's Fly Shop and today we're going to be tying the Mighty Midge which is an emerging coronamid pupa. Uh, materials we're going to use today are Togan's Small Red Wire, Togan's Ultra Stretch in Cream, Black UTC 70, Rusty Brown UTC 70, um, a size 14 scud hook, a 2.4 millimeter Togan's Black Nickel Tungsten white tip bead, and Raid Zap UV in thin. Okay, so we've got our size 14 scud hook, our 2.4 millimeter black nickel tungsten white tip bead, and we're going to tie on our UTC 70 black, which is going to be our underbody. With our scissors nice and tight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tie in our red wire at the bottom part of the hook here. And when you're tying in your materials, I'll leave a little space at the top here because when this wraps around, when you wrap your ultra stretch around, it can get a little bit bulky. So you want to leave a little bit of a gap in there. Get this nice and flat, a couple counterclockwise spins and you can see that that thread opens right up. So you have your wire on the bottom part here. Now you're going to put your Togan's Ultra Stretch in Cream. So this is really white and creamy, but when it stretches it goes that nice gray, especially when it gets the, the UV resin or if you're not a UV guy, you can do, use a Sally Hansen or a cement to a glue to uh, to keep it all together. We'll counter spin just to. There we go. So you're just going to get that started. Now, once you got that started, you can start stretching it, and you're going to line that up so in your hand. What you'll have is your wire on your bottom, theoretically. <laughs> your wire on your bottom and your stretch on the top like that. And then holding the wire like down, you're going to stretch the stretch just to thin it out and then grab them both, just like that. And then you're going to bring that down towards the bottom. A couple more clockwise or counterclockwise spins. And get this right down to the bottom so it gets a nice kind of curved emerging pupa dance look to it. And they spin, kick their bodies around. Then you're just going to cover up any spots that you missed. Now with this, it's a little different than how you would normally do a coronamid. You'd build a thread taper going up towards the bead or the head. Um, with this, you actually don't. You use the ultra stretch as your uh, to build your taper. So if it's a little wrapped around, so when you get it, make sure your wire's on the bottom and your your stretch is on the top. You just put that wire to the side now, and you're going to come around and you're going to stretch this, making sure it's nice and flat. So you get it like that. You see how that starts going gray. And now by keeping it stretched right around as you do your first wrap. It won't bulk out. And you're going to get seven segments. And as you start going up to the top, you can start relaxing it or lo loosening it off so it's not going on so tight. And what that does is that's what starts creating your, your taper. You can see how that's starting to open up a bit now. And I go even a looser wrap here. You can see that that's kind of bulking up now. Another looser wrap. And you get it right up to the top. Come in. One, two, three. Cinch it down. Two in the front, one, two. One in the back. 
not a good cinch. Come in here, get it nice and close to the top there. I'm just gonna do it this way so I can see how close I'm getting. Give it a stretch, not too much. There you go. Reinforce, reinforce. So there's your segmentations. And you can see as it goes up to the top here, it starts to build that taper. Now with your wire, let's see if I can get this out here, come around the bottom, and then you're just going to go through and get it in between the gaps there. So I got one on the bottom tail. Oops, I kind of actually wrapped it on top of the, unit, the ultra stretch here. And then there, and you can see that as I'm coming around now, I just add it right underneath it, right underneath it. You know, and if it's, if you find that, oh, one gap's too much and you get picky like I do, you can kind of just open it up a little bit. See, I opened that one up a little bit. But, you know, segments, when the chronomen moves, they close, they open. So this is just being a finicky fly tire when it comes to that. And then the last one, then I'm at the top. One, two, three, give it a nice little reinforcement there. And you've got enough space because you left that gap, you can do that. One, two in the front and helicopter it out of there. And you can grab your whip finisher, come in. Give yourself one, two, three, four. And you can take that off and then what we're gonna do now, get that nice and close so you don't have any loose ends. There we go. What you're gonna do now is take your UTC-7 UTC 70 and Rusty Brown. One, two, three. Add the fourth one over it like that. Come in here, nice clean cut. And then you're just gonna build that collar up. Now leave yourself enough space. So I kind of went a little few too many there. I got a bit excited because then you're going to use your whip finisher to really finish off the uh, the collar. And this, you know, one, two, three. See how it looks on that side? Yeah, can go a few more. There we go. Let it relax the thread a little bit there. Come in here. Nice close cut. Then when you're at this part of the front, looks like a bit of cat here from my vice. So that's there. Now if you need to move your segments around, you can just get your nail in there, zoom around a little bit, and that finishes it off. Finishes it off. I'm gonna take my Raid Zap UV thin. Some people like super thin. I like thin because it I can use it to uh, to build with. Build my tapers, build up my collars. And just allow that to absorb right into the fly. Gets your thread nice and dark and creates that nice segmented look. Make sure you get your collar. A lot of people always overlook the collar. They'll finish the fly, then realize, oh, I didn't get my collar. Same with the tail. We concentrate so much on our body that we forget the uh, some of the other parts like the tail and making sure we have a nice collar. So once you get that all covered, let that absorb. Looks 
looks pretty good. Oh, just a little spot on the one side there. There we go. Take our Togan's lamp and finish it off. Good few seconds rotating it. And that Scud 14 will pick you up some spring fish. Thank you very much for watching.